Have you ever wanted to know the story of a character but didn't want to play the game to figure it out? Well, welcome to Backstory. Alright, well today we're going to be talking about Clockwork from my favorite video game series, Sly Cooper. I want to acknowledge that this is by far my most popular series, but I haven't been making them, so... Sorry, I will start again. I already did with Spyro. They're going to be way more common. I do like making them. I don't know why I stopped for literally a year. Alright, so Clockwork might be the most jealous character I have ever seen. So jealous that he himself is aware of it. Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate, awaiting a day when I will finally eclipse your family's thieving reputation. Clockwork has been alive for thousands of years, and has been slowly replacing his body with metal parts so he can live forever. Clockwork is only known to have interacted with Connor Cooper, Henrietta Cooper, and of course, Sly Cooper. Though Clockwork is literally all parts, he still has cool abilities, like the fact that he can shoot fucking lasers. To start off the games, I actually want to start with Sly 4. It's the newest addition in the Sly franchise, but because it has to deal with time travel, Clockwork is definitely in it. He exists in Turning Japanese, Go West Young Raccoon, Clan of the Cave Raccoon, Of Mice and Mechs, and 40 Thieves. That's really all to be said about Sly 4 and Clockwork, but it does show how long Clockwork has been at this. Next we'll go to the first game in the Sly Cooper franchise, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonist. In this game it is known that a child Sly watched his dad get murdered by the Fiendish Five. Sly then gains his lifelong friends and the Cooper gang we know and love today. Once Sly, Bentley, and Murray go on a mission to regain the pages of the Thethius Raccoonus, they are forced to fight every member of the Fiendish Five until they meet with the final member, who just so happens to be the main man himself, Clockwork. Clockwork is based in Crack Krav Volcano. That's right, a fucking volcano. If that's not enough, he sends Robo Falcons and Fire Slugs at the Cooper Gang. Oh, you're still not impressed? Well, what if I told you he had a mother fucking giant? Death Ray. That's right. He's got a death ray. He's not fucking around with the Cooper clan. Once Sly gets past all of these ridiculous trials, like Clockwork locks Sly in a goddamn gas chamber with Carmelita. Bentley helps them and Sly and Carmelita work together to take out Clockwork. Sly finally defeats Clockwork with a couple cane hits to the head, and he dies in the lava, never to return. Right. That's it. Alright, not really. Sly 2 Band of Thieves. The clockwork parts were found and brought to a museum in Cairo, Egypt. Sly and the gang show up to take the parts so clockwork would never be reassembled again because they realize that that is a terrible idea. But when they get there, Carmel Leader and a newcomer, Constable Neela, were waiting to catch the Cooper gang because they knew that they already stole the parts. Why would you wait in a place for the thieves to come back to the place that they already stole the things? Anyway, doesn't matter. The problem was they, they didn't steal the parts. The parts were scattered between the Claw Gang and then were stolen again by the best member of the Claw Gang, in my opinion, John Bisson. Just a misunderstood man who was out of his time. Anyway, I I'll do a video on him another time. He's fantastic. John Bisson then sold the parts to Arpeggio who had been trying to obtain them with Constable Neil the entire time under Sly's nose. Arpeggio wanted to merge with the parts so he could live forever and not be a flightless bird because that's a joke. But, Neela actually just pushes him over and takes the body for herself, becoming Clockla. Clockla then took Bentley and Murray, leaving it up to Sly to defeat the mechanical monstrosity again. The Sly gang discovered the bird's true power was held inside the hate chip, which was taken out by Murray and Bentley. Murray held the jaw open while Bentley collected the chip. The beak of the now dead bird was still powerful enough to snap down and leave Bentley paralyzed. <sighs> so sad. <laughs> Carmelita then got the final blow on the bird by destroying its hate chip once and for all. Alright, so this was a this was a short one, but I hope you guys liked it. Uh, leave in the comments what you want the next character to be. I know no one commented for this character, but I really just love this live franchise so much, so I wanted to do a video on Clockwork. See you next time.